Hey everybody, Teresa here with a Traveler's Notebook layout that I am creating for the Tracy Reed Designs creative team. And so I wanted to play around a little bit with the idea of layers and I'm working with a digital stamp from the Sunkissed collection. And this is a rainbow shaped uh, digital stamp. There's also a cut file available. And I've sort of um, resized it and played around with it to suit the Traveler's Notebook size. And then I uh, clipped the pattern papers to the different layers that I wanted, printed it out, cut it out, and now it's ready to assemble. And so another thing I've done is I took the uh, this sort of starburst tie-dye pattern paper and created that for the background. And when I did that and then layered the rainbow over top of it, it felt like they sort of competed with each other. And that's what led me to the idea of separating out these layers and putting the some of, parts of the rainbow onto these transparency pieces. And so what will be in the album is two page protectors with the tie dye layers behind it and then these two transparency pieces with the rainbow on top. That was one of the reasons why I wanted to sort of lift these rainbow layers off of the background um, because I think it helps them stand out a little bit more and it's just something fun and different. I have always loved transparencies and transparent elements and love challenging myself to create new kinds of transparencies and I don't know that I've ever done anything like this before. Um, I don't know if I've ever uh, adhered pattern papers and elements directly to a transparency. So you may see more of this to come in the future, especially with October Daily and December Daily rolling around. And I just invite you also to think creatively about transparencies and layers in your work and one of the things that makes this possible is the fact that I'm working in a citrus twist traveler's notebook binder and the binder rings of course allow you to insert different pages to move things around the way that you like and that definitely helps this process one of the things that I actually discovered along the way, and you'll you'll notice it if you look closely, but I think that it's absolutely okay, is that I decided to put the tie-dye paper inside the page protectors. And that means that in the gutter where the binder rings go in the page protector doesn't have a back, doesn't have the pattern paper on it. And when you layer the when you layer the uh, the transparency over top of it, you have to make a decision about whether you want to insert your transparency and create recreate that gap, or whether you just go for it. And that's what I did. I just went for it. And one of the reasons why I did that was because I was actually working with a leftover piece of transparency, and. Um, Transparencies are not inexpensive. They Sometimes I think they run like $3 a piece, especially the nicer thick ones from American Crafts. I usually can find them at Michael's, and whenever I see them, I just grab a stack. Um, so if you're, if you're in, in the Piedmont, Chiad, North Carolina, and you go to Michael's and you don't see... 12 by 12 transparencies it might be because of me but <laughs> you can at any rate so I was working with this leftover piece and it was like eight by eight and so I went ahead and took the rainbow all the way into the center and and then when you see it in the notebook there's a little gap behind it where the, the pattern paper doesn't extend all the way into the center but I think it's fine 
And one of the reasons that I think it's fine is because there's already that gap in between your layout because it's in a binder and not in a notebook. And so if this kind of thing bugs you, then put it in a notebook <laughs> and then you won't have that problem. Um, but honestly, like, I don't think that it's something that you need to stress over. I think it's more, this was more product play for me, really, to quote, to use a term from Allie Edwards. Um, this is really about uh, digital product play, working with these rainbow cut files. Oh my gosh, they're so cute and so much fun to work with. And also just the idea of building a rainbow because you can see what I've done now is I created the the curve in the title so the title is curved now and it says love yourself and I did the love plus the heart-shaped photo of myself on the left side and then yourself is on the right side and that middle strip of the rainbow is actually going to go on the tie-dye part and so you've got sort of this little play this little humorous kind of play but it gave a spot for that that title to go and okay truth truth story again here if I had thought this through <laughs> then Maybe it would have been a little bit better to have sized the alphabet down a little bit. That alphabet is included in the Sunkist collection. And it's there's a couple, five or six different colorways that you can print it in. And so I could have printed it in a smaller size. Or you can use your own alphabets um, to actually fit in that middle bow. But I didn't even think about that. And I like... The way that I ended up doing it here because it kind of looks fun having those layers overlapping and again this was all about playing with layers and so I think that that helps accomplish that goal and here's where you can see that I'm lining up that middle rainbow and once that middle rainbow is in place then um, it all makes sense and there you can see where where there was that little gap on the tie-dye paper and then that meant that the rainbow was a little bit longer so I just kind of had to space that out and trim that rainbow that middle rainbow off <laughs> and so just a few little you know minor adjustments here that went into this but I think that it's really worth sharing that with you because it's all part of the process and part of the creative process is coming up against a little unexpected situations and coming up with a creative way to adjust it or fix it and and make the idea work and I think if I were to do this again there are probably some things that I would do different and that's also part of the learning process and I share that with you because I want you to embrace that part of the learning process as well and so when you're trying out a new idea I don't know of anyone that's done anything like this before um, if you know of someone, please tag me or let me know because I would love to see other, other designs like this. Um, but when you think of something that you haven't seen before, you are going to come up with some little challenges and some little problem solving that you're going to have to do. And like, be proud of that. Be proud that you're doing that and that you're, you're plowing forward with the process to get to the desired outcome. And the desired outcome was definitely worth it. And so another thing I loved about how this worked out was these are the, this is the tie-dye background um, with one of the, well actually both of the rainbow uh, center pieces are attached. And then I'm gonna follow that curve again and write my journaling and so there's also this text on text play that kind of happens and I think that's a lot of fun too I actually I can't wait to try some of this in December daily this year and see how that how this works out in that album project 
this has been this little traveler's notebook. I'm just doing some miscellaneous fun layouts and things in it. Not really planned. All of my other album projects are always really planned out. And this one, I'm just going with whatever, wherever the product takes me. And so that's kind of given me a little bit of freedom to play and just sort of experiment. And some of the funnest things come from experimentation. Everything was an experiment at one time. And we have a lot of, I think we have a lot of different kind of um, traditions in our industry that started out as experimentation and turned into something bigger. So I hope you've had a great time watching my process. Thank you again. I hope that you will check out the blog post with this layout and there will be links to that blog and links to the product down below and I'll see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.